I know my parents are too hung up on making money and putting on a show for the neighbors, but that doesn't mean I have to put down money completely, because maybe now I don't need much, but when I get married, I'm going to have to have money for my family, too. I just don't have to be as materialistic about it, that's all. The world is changing, and some things are still too hard for our parents to understand. But blowing grass, and that's really a cop-out, and it won't help our parents understand the darn thing. School is like everything else. You only get out of it what you put into it. It's not a party. The way I look at it, I'm here to learn. Even if some of the subjects or the teachers aren't the greatest, I've got to make the best of it. I'm here for an education, and everything extra is just gravy. There really is a communication gap, but I think that if I have a better education and better life than my parents, I should make the first move to make that gap become smaller and smaller. From what I've read and from what I've heard, there are millions of adults over 30 who don't like the establishment or going to war any more than we do. I honestly believe that adults are disappointed in us because it's always been expected of young people to try to change things, to make things better, or at least prepare to change things if we don't like them. Not to cop out on life through grass or other drugs. No, not for me. I'm more interested in dropping into the world I live in than turning on, tuning in, and dropping out. I don't like to criticize anybody, but I think that too many teenagers don't have too much purpose. It's like they don't have any goals. I don't mean that they should just be planning to make money and all that, but I think that trying to find something you'll enjoy doing for the rest of your life is the least you can do now, because everybody has to work, even girls before they get married, and even after they do. I think too many teenagers traded in their idealism for a stick of weed. When I see some teenagers acting superior to those of us who don't need drugs to feel good or understand ourselves, I get real bugged. Well, now, you've heard from both sides of the question. But what you do with your life is up to you. If you become a pothead, you risk blowing the most important time of your life, your teenage. That unrepeatable time for you to grow up and to prepare for being an adult that can handle problems and make something meaningful out of life. Or you have the choice to have the courage to see and deal with the world for what it really is. Far, far from perfect, but for you and for me, the only one there is. While it's true that some of you will actually go to the moon and perhaps other planets, it's also true that in a few short years, this world will be your establishment and you will be the establishment. And what you do or don't do about it will be your scene. You're the generation with the brain power and the opportunity to do more for the human needs of this world than any other generation in history. Let's hope that your teenage children don't have too much criticism about what you did or didn't do because you were on pot.